Hello and welcome back to the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. And we are still on Justice for All. Revisit it. And we are going into... To deal with, um... My controller just waking up. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Um, we are going into... Just making sure. We are going into the first trial of this case, like so. <coughs> And with a certain somebody that is going to show up in later, much later trials in this installment of the series. So let's go into the first part of the trial, already in progress, or rather, let's just go into it. <coughs> Give it a moment here. <laughs> when the game wants to respond. Anytime now. June 21st, 9.48 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Really, we're going to be experiencing this now? Are you okay? Not the killer from Karma? You mean... No. I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? To breaking the game. I mean... Man, Mom said from Karma was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks. Also, he can win. Because I remember in the first game, he borked the game! And, and, and he was obsessed. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection.
he had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those guilty birds. And now, his successor. I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be. <laughs> well, that tells you something. The game just froze. It's like, oh shit, Von Karma just showed up. <laughs> it's all good. Music Maya! Hurry! You showed up bitch for coming all this way. Mother, didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the training. She said she she said they have training for two days straight with no break. Huh? That that you came all by yourself? Yep. I snuck out to the manor and followed the map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Oh no. Of course not. I mean, oh dear. That's. I. I can't. Oh. My. If it takes two turns. If it takes two hours, my turn. Oh no. You ran. And she ran so far away. Hurry. What about the train? Huh? What's the train? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Why is Von Karma trying to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who is that? Um, he's Nick Rival, well, he's also friends. That's it, motherfucker! Dude, what? I still remember him as though I seen him only yesterday. Ikiori! Ikiori! We're both doing Ikiori back and forth. Every trial was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end. Iggyari, back and forth. <laughs> you guys back and forth with him, but when you rival for life... Maya! Please, don't mention that name ever again. Uh, but why? You know? I, I, I'm sorry, Maya, I forgot you didn't... I forgot you don't know. He... He's... He's gone. And... He's not coming back until the third game. What?! Wait, 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 wait a second! What's that supposed to mean? 
Court will commence shortly. Pray proceed into the courtroom. Let's go. Now is not the time to talk about that anyway. Meh. Don't worry about it. I'm going to tell you later. June 21st, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. There she is. Court is now in session for the trial of my faith. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? What is with this kid? <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Wright! Are you prepared? Yes, 
Christmas. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its place. That's right. I'll have you running the, for the justified first defense play in no time. A play usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of himself. We could very easily make a solemn case that it was so. The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, your honor. Because the plea justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. She got you. And foolish. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Writer, then I shall now call the first witness. She is just as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Yes, sir. My name's Dick Domshoe. I'm a detective at the location. <laughs> Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Yes, sir! Um, if everyone would please take a look at this map. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Channeling a spirit! That's quite the local disbelief there, your honor. <clears throat> anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Oh, and that's when they found that the victim was already dead, correct? That's Incitex kicking in, mind you. Hmm. I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I have ever presided over. So we get the floor plans of the crime scene. So, how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. Stop wasting my time, then. Call 
cause of death. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after stabbing. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. After being stabbed in the chest, he was shot in the forehead at point blank. So there you go, we got our autopsy report. The court accepts it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Well, we just press everything, so that's what B is going to do. Cross examination. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe, whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim. Now, why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you, if you're not paying, if you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints. There were fingerprints. Along with the victims, the defendant, my face were also on the grip, sir. Hmm. So the, the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Walked right into her hands, sir. Point blank, huh? So about how far away is that? It's anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Mister, I... I plan to suck you off after this. What? What? I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools at this foolish country. Uh, 
Excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn. When something is shot from point blank, a burning area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gets real hot pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. I'm supposed to press everything, so I'm pressing everything. Stabs. And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see, and whose knife was it? It looked like it belonged to the face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints are all over it. Mm, all over it, hmm? That does not look good. Mm. <laughs> what do you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Maybe you want the handy? No, 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 I'm good. to the right would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This test might make it sound like Maya had stabbed him with the intent to kill him. One more. But we got to move on. Are you sure he was stabbed first and shot? Yep. Sure, sure can be. One look at the wounds and you come to some conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who own mm. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. A pierce was shot to the forehead at point blank. Is certainly enough to kill instantly. Doesn't matter then which was first. Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix, right? Establish how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Exhibit A and ex Exhibit B. Very well, the court accepts them into evidence. So we get the pistol and the knife. The death and time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard two gunshots at this time. And two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them. Hmm. This does seem like an open and shot case.
Speak, please. <coughs> Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As if the story just now wasn't oversimplified and so extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little cavalry of yours. After all, there is no room there for that is there. Hmm. That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Yes. Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. Mm, it's just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Lighter. You would change your pee in less than 10 minutes. And I want you undressed in less than 10 minutes. What? What will you do, Miss Wright? Will you change to justify self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. Decision. You better think that's through all the way. I plead. Nine guilty. I plead not guilty. Justified self defense. He would basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life will be ruined, and she'd be labeled a murderer. Your Honor, have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of complete acquittal. Final portion of your testimony, the final strike. Um, y y yes, sir. N now, the uh, proceedings are run by. <laughs> Detective, and give you a touch of money. I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Incriminating evidence. Mm -hmm. 
sorry, Hal, but there's an even there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. So this is a costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray built on this. This piece directly links my FA to the crime, sir. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. My nice costume? Clothes Maya was wearing at the time of the murder, there are blood splatters on it. Alright, Mr. Wright. Nice fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on their clothes. Could this situation get any worse? Uh, what's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony for prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to soak us with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Rider. Yeah? Please stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing. You da go ta ku. That's the fuck. Here's cross examination number two. Are you ready for round two? <clears throat> I got somewhere to go later, but shit, I gotta, I, I gotta at least do one part of this. It's blood on the costume. Lab results show that it is the victim's blood. Defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So, were there any other clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? Um, well. If you must change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. But too bad. Not enough time. Let's move on. Uh, 
Ah, yes. Miss Von Karma is perfectly correct. Now you've got judges on our side. If I bite more than I chew here, what should I do? Press foil them. Miss Von Karma suddenly putting out resistance. There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. I see a bullet hole. There must be something about this costume. To look harder. Mr. Wright, Ms. Von Karma's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in it. Oh, what might that tying it up? It's about the costume. There is one little thing. And I'm looking at it. Your Honor, actually there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? What is this problem you all talking about? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. The problem I have with this piece of evidence is here. I even know we we can see it's like if if you were looking at it from if you were looking at it like from the mirror, it would show as the the left as if it were the right. Like I'm looking at myself in the mirror. My right hand is my left, whereas my left hand that is controlling the controller is my is my right. So, right, left. As we are looking at this, you can tell that we see a hole that I have mentioned, which is supposedly seen as on the quote-unquote left sleeve, which is the right. So, there's your problem right there. I ask the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? Hmm? There's a tiny hole here. A, a hole? But that wasn't even in the report! Hold on. What's this? Around the hole, it's the same thing. Gunpowder? No one ever told me! A hole that smells of gunpowder. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Your Honor. The only logical conclusion you can make is that it must be a bullet hole. Order! 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 This is a very grave model. 
it's best we correct the court record before, first before anything is. Yeah, now it's updated. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That just now was a fluke. Nothing more. I'll, sm I'll make you smell dick cheese. I mean. How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. Well, I agree it is a mistake on the part of the police. What prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more definitive problem with the evidence, then... No! Why? Huh? Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Y y yes, sir. He wasn't fighting back! How do you know if he was or wasn't? We could find no evidence that the struggle put up any sort of... We could find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of struggle now. Hmm. So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around this murder changed drastically. Oh, we're in real trouble now. If only I had something to prove that the victim did fight back. That one karma, she thinks she can decide the verdict with this testimony alone. Well, I had to find critical contradictions somehow, and then I'll have her. I mean, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Um, wait a goddamn minute now. Wait a goddamn minute, sir. Sir, may I present? May I present? That's what you just said right here. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Dick Dick Van Dick. Yes? <laughs> Having you call me by my full name is kind of a weird feeling. 
you said that my client killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Uh, yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlooked supposed to mean? Hey, um, what, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. <laughs> Is this what it means to not fight back? Ah, oh, you're right. It seems you are correct. If the victim had tried to shoot the defendant, then it would change everything. All right, the wind seems to be shifting. Huh. What was it? What was it that are you finished with this? What was it that are you finished with this? Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? There's one more. It seems that my affair was shot at by the victim. However, their ears only ground enough to support a chest of side to the PNP. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, that the defense clearly said they rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Now that she... Why? That's right! Fifteen HP taken off. <clears throat> Which means the defense has yet to prove anything at all. No! Oh. Well, yes, that's true. Thank you, please. Thank you. Furthermore, it's just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to substantiate. Substantiate. I'm trying to say this in a, in a character voice, mind you. Substantiate. It's not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified safety offense. Yeah. Also. <laughs> Oh! Ah! 10 HP taken off. Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With the new information we acquired at the dean, of course. Oh, you mean. Bum, You want me to put together a scenario by myself? <laughs> 20 HP, take it up! <laughs> yes, sir! R r right away, ma'am, ma sir. There's just one, 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 one thing, sir. I mean, ma'am, I mean, oh, shit. What? 
transpired. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Uh, of course, the victim used the lads in his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took the shot, but because they were too the victim took the shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. This scenario you have put together doesn't make sense. Y yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright. On the surface, it doesn't make sense. I mean, on the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. But please refrain from glaring at me like that. Now then, your cross-examination, please. What transpires? A lot of shit has transpired since then. But we here do not know what the fuck just happened until now. There is quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendants. Add in body strength and it seems unlikely the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, it is. You can get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix Wright. My affair was in the middle of charming with Shinnok. When channeling with the Korean channeling technique, the medium physically changed. With the nurse's field, the defendant could have easily been a match for the doctor. She started up with a current channeling technique. Like I said before, I am perfect. Um, but I, 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 I about you what? Uh, talking about, I did quite get it. <sighs> um, and then never mind, let's continue with the testimony. It's like, do we have to? Do we have to go that route? Please, don't let us go that route, dude. Don't, 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 don't let us do it. Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Gray, had specifically bought it for that thing. So 
but a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before the murder. Why did Dr. Brave... What? Why did Dr. Brave bring a gun? Was he taking precautions? So, you're saying that the bullet hole in this costume was made then? Sorry, pal, but yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. I could do so much better for your thing. <clears throat> Maya has never fired a gun before in her life. The victim are taken off the safety. Let the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it just by pulling the trigger. Now, do you understand? I'd run time as large as his testing. His testimony makes us look very bad. But there's got to be a contradiction in there somewhere, and uncovering it is just going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. But it all brings us back to this right here. Idioti! Missing the tiny hole on this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. <laughs> eh? What, what do you mean? This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony. <laughs> it's real, said Mr. Wright. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank? If that were true, then where is the gunpowdered gunpowder burn on this costume? Good. 
Got inside her burn. Is this what you testif This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. But, there is not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. That is a very good point. And what is it, and what exactly does it mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. I am disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm not, I'm very thirsty. You think you can punch a hole in my loudspeaker? With which he was she thinking like that? Anyone can explain anything away. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Yes. Yes. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then when they were separated that he fired. How was that? Hey, Gary, bitch. As if that was even possible. My, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. Clear your throat, gang. Clear your throat. The victim will not have That's right. The defendant must have pushed the victim there. After some space between the doctor and her chest. And then, while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. Yeah. That should satisfy even you. That does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? I must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake. Concentrate and think. It then mm, um No, 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 there's something off there. Something. It doesn't make sense. There is a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Fatal flaw? Minus 15! 
Ow! Very interesting. I would love to see where this floor is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a slag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. And there is... I present to you the folding screen! Ya yeah, bitch! This is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What was that? A folding screen? I would like to point the whole attention. No. I would like to point the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. Oh, <laughs> oh that feels good. Ah! It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. How? Oh, what? Where? What? What? Mr. Rice, your explanation, please. Aren't it really that close? <clears throat> the bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed through at a height of approximately eight inches off the ground, which means... <clears throat> which means when... The shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. Hold on. Hold on. This is changing everything! Please, look at the diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. And the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit at this location about 8 inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Um, yeah, she was right here. She, she was right here. Right there. She was right there. She was standing here, near the folding screen. Oh, oh, wait. Eight a second! We know the defendant was close to the ground, therefore the height at the bullet hole. But, how can you guys do this bitch like that? It's possible that the defendant was standing much closer to the victim. That's impossible. But, but why? You of all people should know the answer to that question, Miss Von Kaiser. If she was shot from somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder's burn present. However, <laughs> the 
There is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Oh, that's so cool. Ah! 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 Cassio! Mieta Phoenix that I thought! You! I believe it has now been proven. The defendant was standing away from the victim when she was shot at. But, do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? Oh, it changes everything. It changes so much everything. Honestly? Your Honor? This changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike would be... If that were true, delivering the final strike with a knife would be ideal. However... Where and what was the defendant doing at the time? Squatting all the way by the folding screen? Exactly. If Maya Fey was the real murderer. Why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? <laughs> Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything, it's your job! <laughs> oh! Alright. But this, the rest of the trial should be in the. Bl I want your call. What the? You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I shall see you right after proceedings. What? To think you have been able to take a hope... Uh, to think that you have been able to take a completely hopeless case to this point. Now, I know my papa had a tough time with you. Hmm... You... Amuse me. Oh, 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 That doesn't change things. Da 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 da. Detective, how dare you damage my perfect logic? Why was it my fault? You can start repairing your standing by. First, removing that three-strand gold chip. Damn. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. With Enobit! What the fuck?
Well then, Your Honor, I think I've had all I can take of this detective's success. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Next witness? That's gotta be Lana. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. To be continued. Indeed, it is to be continued that Ike is going to walk away from this very shortly. <clears throat> Prepare to hunt wax in the anal beads. <laughs> the one thing's for sure, she definitely likes her whips. And chains and every little thing. So what am I actually going to do? <laughs> I'm actually gonna do this. I'm actually gonna stop here and overwrite with this, and and um, yeah, I'm just going to just overwrite and save, and and then after that, I I'm going to, yeah, I'm stopping here. I'll see you in the next part when we do the second half of the trial. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.